I was interested in the automotive academy. I want to be a technician because I don't want to be in no office. I want to be under the car. You wanted to go like pursue an engineering degree, and, and since I like science, I um, decided to go into the program. I really think what I'm learning is very interesting because a car is like a person in a way. Like you gotta give it gas. Like like people has to eat. The engine is like the heart. They told us that it was a program that uh, helped you throughout high school and get into college to become an engineer, a process technician. I've learned a lot about different body types for cars and different ways to repair cars. We learned how to connect different type of tubings, pipes, and work different machines. I think the benefit of learning hands-on instead of working in the book is because hands-on you can actually see what you're doing. And the book is just like a brief summary of everything that's done in the refinery. We had a lot of hands-on activities as far as like um, people bring their cars in. Such as cars that's been in accidents. And doing the hands-on teaches you when you go out into the field how to connect each tube, um, what different chemicals can go into each tube. It teaches us like life experience because um, I work at this um, fast food restaurant and they was fixing the fryers and the pipes that were they were connecting, I knew like what they were because they actually showed us hands on how to connect them. I'm like what you call slow when it comes to book learning and hands on is actually the best way for me to learn anything. A1 Attack is a European sports car that was remodeled by high school students. The body was donated to us from Czechoslovakia, or now the Czech Republic. What we had to do was build our own chassis and frame to fit the car, and we modified a Volkswagen TDI motor so that it would run off of 90% vegetable oil and 10% diesel fuel. I had an internship in the summer for a project um, on wastewater treatment. I'm going to be doing an internship this summer for Mako. Which we will be doing, we'll be starting the entry level position as a sander or taper. For a week, it's called Mako Boot Camp. Hopefully they'll keep us and we can start a part time job at Mako. They also um, give us jobs at the Sunoco Refinery, Market Hook, and the Water Department. You go for 10 weeks in August and then you gotta go through a level three, and if you pass that, you get a job. I think it's a, a good achievement for the students. At the high school, they will want you to pursue your college career. Once I graduate high school, I plan on going to Lincoln Tech to further my education in automotive. They give you like 10 college credits. And at the college, if you're still thinking about going into engineering, you still could apply. For, from the area we come from, I think it's a good achievement. It's like like a step up for us. I've learned that all mistakes can be fixed. How to respect, how to work on your own, how to stand on your own two feet. You get more opportunities working with the uh, auto industry. If you don't get it right the first time, just keep trying. Have good people skills, because you gotta know how to talk to people. Teamwork. Skills. I learned leadership skills. I can change the suspension system on the car. I can change all the brakes. I can be your future employee. I can service various systems within the automobile. The next couple years, I see myself as an auto technician and possibly owning my own business. I can be your future employee. I can repair an automobile that's been in a collision. I know how it works. 95% of all the machines in the auto shop. I can be your future employee. Have the ability to maintain my school work and the goals I want to achieve in life. I see myself as a successful businessman in the automotive field and then I plan on opening my own collision repair shop. I can be your future employee. I, I can, can be, be your future, future employee. employee.